Hello everybody and welcome to Free Civ. We've got another series of Free Civ going here, but this one's going to be a little bit different and a lot more interesting. Uh, so there is a new feature with Free Civ Web that allows play by email. So this is going to be a multiplayer game, and we're going to try a 1v1 deathmatch, and we're going to play against the developer of Free Civ Web. So uh, you will probably play by email game, challenge another player, and each player will be notified when their turn uh, through email. So once I'm done with my turn, I'll play my first turn here. And then it'll be his turn uh, to play. And then once he's done, he emails it. And then it'll be my turn. So uh, this is uh, basically... We all know what play by email is. So uh, we're going to log in. I am Nook. And we're going to play against Andreas. So I'm creating against Andreas. I'll play, and I'll play the first turn in this play by email game. So... Uh, First turn to play. I got, I'm going to have to do this a little bit different. I think the way I'm going to record this is we'll do sort of a uh, kind of time lapsey kind of thing. Um, I'll probably, maybe I'll do like a voiceover thing with each turn, and um, we'll start our first turn here. So we have a worker. Uh, first thing we probably need to do is is get to working, like uh, irrigating. We build Keto. Okay, who am I? Who am I? Keto. Am I? I'm the South Americans. Okay. Right? Yes, I'm the, Santa I'm the South Americans. He's the Antarcticans. Alright. So let's get exploring. Let's go get some huts. 25 gold. Alright, so this is, uh, like I think I said before, this is basically 1v1 deathmatch. Um, so we're going to do the best we can to explore and conquer as fast as we possibly can. How do we start? We start with five workers? That's cool. I've not tried this before. Uh, typically, I would do sort of like a um, um, a starter, like a, a test run, you know? I did not do a test run, so we'll see how this goes. But there we go. First turn is done, so now we're going to hit turn done, and then it will be Andreas' turn. The turn is over in this play-by-email game. Now the next player will get an email with information about how to start the game. And then once he is done with his turn, I will get an email to come play my turn. So there you go, first turn done. Uh, from now on, I will be voicing over and we'll be watching what's happening. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on turn two. Right, we're ready for turn two, but I wanted to show this off before we began. Uh, this is the email I just got from uh, Free Civ Web, telling me it is my, my turn. It is now your turn to play Free Civ. You're receiving this email because you're participating in a play-by-email game of Free Civ Web. So click here to play the game. And... I have to log in again. Log in. Please wait. And there we go. Now we're back. Turn two. And I know I did. I broke the uh, the cardinal rule. Uh, actually, I broke two cardinal rules of Civ on my first turn. Uh, the uh, thou shalt do your research on turn one. I broke that one. And check your city building, which I didn't do either. City production. Um, which actually I think Warriors is fine, so that one's okay. That one's fine. But research was a big bad thing. I guess we're working on horseback riding, which is kind of a, a dumb thing to be working on. Um, what should we do first? Maybe, what do we, okay, so the goal here, we need to focus on getting big fast and running him over. Uh, catapults are good at, well, they're not really that good at running over, but they are good at destroying things. Um, this is, um, this size of the map that you get for FreeCiv on these dual maps is, a uh, it's a size 4 map, if you're familiar with the FreeCiv web, or the FreeCiv version of doing this, which is a little bit smaller than a standard. So it's gonna be a pretty good size map, so maybe a little bit before we, we run into each other. And I'm thinking maybe we should grab, we should get to currency, because money is really a big deal in this. Um... Trying to think. Currency and trade. We can run some caravans between our cities once we get them going. That might be... I don't... You know what? This is a tough decision. This is a much tougher decision. I know horseback riding is not the one I want. Um, let's grab pottery. We can crank out some granaries. Which will help us grow. I think we'll do pottery. Pottery is always a, a safe bet. Okay, so turn two. Uh, we're going to keep on exploring here.
I need to carefully explore all around here. Um, settlers can irrigate as well. Just throw a road down. Throw a road. Let's irrigate that square. And there's some good production with that, with that oil. I don't have a clue what kind of map this is going to be. It might be like an islandy map. I don't actually know. Um, but are we done with everything? Make sure I'm not doing anything stupid. Don't forget research and tax rates. Tax rates. We want, oh, we got as high as we can. Science. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, I think we're good. All right. On to turn three. We're going to make this sort of the, uh, the end of this uh, introduction uh, to the game. And uh, so starting with turn three and uh, moving on, we'll do uh, sort of a uh, time lapsey sort of thing where I will uh, voice over and, and we'll continue the game that way. But this is the first episode, so thank you again for watching. And I will see you again next time whenever, uh, hopefully, we destroy Andreas and his filthy Antarcticans.